going to have a cup of tea this time. Hello everyone, my name is Alicia and today I'm going to be talking about books that I have not finished for a multitude of reasons, whether I then just didn't have the time to finish them, whether I wasn't intrigued by the storyline, or whether I just didn't like it at all. That's the video today, that's what we're going to get into. So without further ado, let's get started. The first book is A Long Way Down by Nick Hornby. I didn't get too far with this one. If you did not know, A Long Way Down is about a group of four people who all go to jump off a building at, on New Year's Day. That's not a spoiler, that's literally said in the blurb in the first chapter. And they talk each other out of doing the thing. I got a couple chapters in and just decided it wasn't for me. I didn't really get hooked straight away. It didn't have that I can't put this down, I'm really intrigued to know what happens next kind of feeling about it. So I really wasn't a fan. The characters hadn't really gone into much detail yet but I think that was what the author wanted. He wanted things to be revealed little by little, which is fine, I just didn't get on with that writing style so that's why I didn't like A Long Way Down. We then have Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson and Lauren Myracle. I'm gonna go with that. I didn't get on with this book because I think there's something about a book that was written by more than one author that I personally don't get on with. Maureen Johnson wrote the first one, first story in this. I, I don't think I got on with Maureen Johnson's writing style and I stopped in the middle of her story and kind of didn't really want to carry on with the book. I love John Green as an author. I've read all of his books and I do love his writing style. I just think that Maureen Johnson's for me wasn't to my taste and I don't know what it was about it but I just really struggled to go along with her storyline. Next we have Orange Boy by Patrice Lawrence. Now I got this because it was on the Costa Book Awards and I was reading it for a book club at the time as you can see there's little post-its but I got so far and it just didn't grip me there was nothing in the storyline that I wanted to know more about there had been little things revealed here and there but there was nothing that I was like I need to know what happens next so for me this wasn't particularly gripping uh, but I know a lot of people that we discussed it in our book club that really enjoyed this book so again to each their own but that's why I didn't like this one the next one is a bit of a curveball, which is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Now, I only read, ah, I've still got a bookmark in it. I only read to page 93 and then stopped, which is a good halfway in the book. And apparently there is a twist towards, more towards the end of the book rather than towards the start, um, that is really, prominent and grips you but I just didn't get to the twist. I got bored before the twist and I didn't read any more of it so that's why I didn't finish We Were Liars. The next one is One of Us Is Lying by Karen M. McManus? McManus? I think? I think this one, the reason I didn't finish it is just time constraints. I got to page 124. I never found out who, who killed the person? I th yeah, I genuinely think this one was time constraints uh, because I was reading it for a book club as well as doing A-levels, which was a little bit stressful, but here we are. It was a little slow starting, but then once you got into it, perfectly fine. Um, I might try this one again sometime soon and let you know how I get on. The next one is The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. This is a very popular book. Personally, I couldn't get on with JK's adult storyline and narrative and writing style. It differs quite a lot from her childlike Harry Potter stuff. And personally, the sort of, I'm gonna use a fancy word, microcosm, there it is, there's GCC English, um, that she creates in this just didn't intrigue me at all and I really couldn't finish it. Sorry to everybody who likes it. And the last book that I did not finish is Wild Like Me by Louise Pentland. In fact, this is pretty much brand new. For me, 
it was trying too hard to be relevant. I think it mentioned Instagram in the first couple pages and then I just put it down because I'm a fan of dystopia and I like believing the lie. So whether that was too relevant to daily life and I didn't like it or whether again it was trying too hard to be relevant and kind of shoving the this is very modern day in my face. I don't know but I just didn't get on with it and that's okay. We cannot like books. I can't really comment on writing style because I didn't get that far into the book. And those are the books I have not finished that are on my bookshelf. Now this is not to say that they are bad books. This is to say that I personally did not enjoy them or did not have the time to finish them or was not a fan of the writing style. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. You may think I'm wrong. Please convince me otherwise. Um, I'd love to reread them and when I have more time, aka now, lockdown, uh, I am reading more books. I'm currently reading more Cassandra Clare. Please comment down below if you think differently. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on these books. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up down below. Uh, and my stats are telling me recently that a lot of you are not subscribed to me, so if you'd like to know when I post and like to see more of my videos, I've got a vlog coming soon, please subscribe down below as well. Um, so that is it from me this week, but I will see you next weekend. Goodbye!